Hey Shooby Doodlers, how are you doing? Have you ever had the problem when you want to make 25, 30, 50 greetings cards, something like that, pieces of paper folded over in exactly the same way? How do you do it all in bulk? Is it a problem? Not if you put your production thinking hat on. Let's not talk about it. Let's do it. A YouTuber called Please Comment uh, asked me exactly this question and I said, yeah, I'll show you how it's done because I folded a lot of paper once when I worked in printing and this is what we have to do. I have cut out some thin card, thick paper, whatever you like to call it. So I've cut them so that they should all be 20 centimetres or 200 millimetres by, I thought that was going to be 145, slightly shorter. Height doesn't really matter, the width does. So there's 200 millimetres or 20 centimetres. I'm going to make a tiny little mark just there with my scalpel. You may not have a scalpel. <laughs> Are they all? This is one of the great tools of graphic design. and. Uh, make a little mark there just to do a single fold you want to line up those marks with a ruler this is a scoring tool this is a service order so this is uh, what is that 38 six, well, this is probably from 1961 or something like that I don't know where I ever got this from basically it's just a point on the end there or you can get ones like this this is Derwent it's got a kind of a thick denter there and a slightly smaller one there so I'm gonna use the slightly smaller one and, and I'm gonna run that across there so it's made a little dent in the paper which means you can then fold it and that's really nicely neatly folded but we want to do that with 10 20 25 a thousand when I was in printing many years ago, because we made things in sort of not standard sizes, well then we would actually score and fold by hand because it was cheaper than setting up machines. I've done this for like a thousand pieces of paper. So how do we set this all up? Basically, we're gonna make a jig and there's various ways of doing this. So we want to have a point there and a point there and a point down here. Uh, so it's kind of gonna slot into this corner. So a quick way of doing this, is with masking tape or something like that and I'm going to put layers on because masking tape on its own isn't really very thick so I'm going to put layers of masking tape down here like that and I can feel that's getting a bit thick I worked in screen printing for a while and we would sort of do things like this so this now knocks up against that and it's not going to move this way anymore so that's the, the side and then we're going to want two here now there are different ways of doing this as well so the easiest thing is to get a bit of double-sided tape so this all kind of depends on you wanting to have various bits of equipment around the place uh, I'm going to get that double-sided tape there and I'm going to use my scalpel again and I'm going to cut through it like that so we're going to get a nice straight edge with the um, with the double sided tape and I'll cut that out there and then we need to get the cover paper off this is always the hardest part so I try to sort of pick it out somehow like that oh I don't know it doesn't want to come at all uh, can I use my fingernails there we go so we've got that edged up against that, like that. And then I'm gonna stick this right up against that edge there, like that. Okay, so we've got a little corner that we can butt this into. Butt is not a naughty word in this situation. And the other uh, way we can do it, cause that feels it's, I could do with that being a little bit higher. You could use a thicker piece of card or um, I'm going to do that. When you are using a scalpel like this, always make sure that your fingers are behind the blade. Okay. Because, and I have learned this, <laughs> um, I've got various cuts and things and scars across there because I've learned it the hard way. Um, and then I'm just going to stick that over the top there and that was about there wasn't it so so we'll do the same again about there start on it and 
there. Oh, I should have done this before. Hang on. <laughs> I'm going to put that back on there. <laughs> I should have cut this before I took the tape off. Right. And so I'm going to cut through there. And ideally have my fingers right behind the blade. Like that. Using a metal ruler. If you use a plastic ruler, it can sort of catch and skid and slice into your fingers. You don't want to do that. Get that tightly into there. And then... I can put that nicely up there and that's double the thickness so that it's definitely got something to knock up against as we would say so that's that phase next you want to do that markup thing so this was 20 I'm going to put a little mark in there Whoosh, there and the same down here a little bit thing like that so this is this is all about production and you know and <laughs> I've always really rather liked uh, doing sort of production jobs sort of multiple things I've always found that quite fun um, and so we want to get this set up like we did before so that will be about there and that will be about there and this time we need something really solid knocking up against there so what I'm going to do is get <laughs> Um, a little bit of card from the back of a a drawing pad <laughs> usually I save this when I finished a drawing pad I usually save them and keep this card but I've had a clean out recently so I'm having to take that from the back of the card so and again what I'm going to do is I'm going to put the double sided tape on here like that and I'm going to just skim a little bit off the side so that we get it nice and square like that take that away oh and I should have done cut that into two okay so we've cut that into two with the tape and then butt this paper right up to your corners and using those little marks work out exactly where the ruler should be that's perfect and then I'm going to butt that right up to the ruler there and butt that right up to the ruler there so that you can just go like that that's one Put the next one in there, into the corner, put the ruler up, and like that, there's the next one. And then there's the next one. Now that's okay if you're doing 25 or something, but let me show you another little thing. <laughs> I'm gonna double up some of this card again. And again, I will do that. Then I'll take the the tape backing off, and I'll cut that in two like that. And then <laughs> down here, I can just put that about there, and that about there. So this is lifting the ruler off the surface. And then, if you're doing thousands of these things. You might want to get some masking tape and tape the thing down. Honestly, people do this in print factories. Um, and this is this is just production technique. And again, what you might like to do again is to add an extra little bit there. You could do that here, just to add that extra thing to knock up against. So then. 
we've got that all nicely in there. So we go whished across there. I'm going to prefer to use my other one. And that just then slides straight in. Oh, that slides straight in. <laughs> and we do that. Let me stick that one in there, knock it up against the edges. And that one in there. Knock it up against the edges. And there you go. And you can carry on like that <laughs> for a thousand times. And then when you've finished, you just come and fold them all up like that. That was the original one. You probably have to waste two or three just to get the whole thing set up. So, you know, make sure you cut a few extra when you start. And then if you do that, you got it all folded. And then you can just kind of pinch along the whole thing. And then there you are. A whole lot of bulk folded cards for you. And that is how you do it. Thanks for watching. Make sure you are subscribed. Click that button. Also ring the bell for notifications. And keep coming back for lots more drawing videos every week. In the meantime, keep drawing, drawing, drawing. Folding, folding, folding. And I'll see you next time. You take care now. Bye-bye.